Hello, everybody. It is Taylor along with Barb, Jake, and Brian. We are discussing the season premiere of The Masked Dancer, which oh. aired on Sunday. <coughs> I really enjoyed the episode. Uh, the only thing I hated is that football messed up um, the DVR. Um, and so yeah, when I got off work to watch it. <coughs> Um, it was on the Crickets uh, performance from the premiere. So I had to watch the last three and then go back Monday and watch um, Hammerhead and Tula. But I finally was able to watch it all. But, it I, really, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really weird. Like here, I, I checked the TV, the channel guide, and it said that it's going to be delayed because of football or whatever. So, but I just decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And watch the last few minutes just in case it ends early. And right. when I turned it on, it was just, just as it was beginning. So the football thing didn't – I mean, the whole thing was screwed up. But I'm glad I turned it on when I did because otherwise I would have been like you and having I mean, to watch it yeah. yesterday. Right. So but, uh, it's pretty it's pretty similar to The mass Singer. There are a few differences. Um, first off, instead of singing, it's dancing. Um, the costumes aren't as bulky, I guess, no. as they are on the right. Mad Singer because they're dancing. Ah. And they're uh, not it seems like the clues are going to be easier, and we get to hear their voices unmodulated. Also, right. we have sort of a different judging panel. We have um, Ken Jong is on it, coming up from the Mad Singer, of course. Is that your dog? Mine yeah. is growling. It is my dog. Oh, it's your dog. The other side is barking. Mine is growling because you hear people coming upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we apologize for the technical difficulties. <laughs> anyway, um, so Ken Jong is returning to the panel, and then we have Paula Abdul, who I'm thrilled to see back on a competition yeah, show. A uh, it's been a while. And then we have Ashley Tisdale and a former Mass Singer contestant and Beverly Hills 90210 star. Brian Austin Green. I actually am excited. I was excited to see Brian Austin uh, Green as a. Um, you mean Brian as, Austin Green? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was excited to see him as a, a judge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good to see Paula again. She's in, in some ways she's still ditzy. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> she is. She's still she's. She looks great though. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was a judge on another um, reality show. Well, Idol, but that was forever ago. Idol, then she did the X Factor. She was on So You Think You Can Dance for a while. Right. She's, she's done it all. Sorry. So, anyway, first performance of the night, we had Hammerhead, uh, who had, um, of course, it's a Hammerhead, so it had a pretty, it was a search themed, uh, search themed package. Uh, there was a burger, and then there was a coffee cup with the name Joe on it. Um, he talked about how fame um, happened almost too quickly, and he realized he just wasn't happy. And yeah. There's also a clock in the uh, in the clue package as well. Dance-wise, he danced to Everybody by the Backstreet Boys. He's not a very good dancer. He just sort of jumped around and... I think he tried to act like he knew how to dance, but he wasn't very good. I think, I think it's safe to say this is not like a professional dancer. So no, no, yeah. no definitely not. No, no, definitely not. He was not professional, but he was no. entertaining. He was yeah. definitely. No, but he looked like very he was the time. Um, in uh, the word up clue, they each get an unmodulated single word say one word without their voice modulated, and his word was dramatic. Um, Ken said he thought it was carrot top, which I think is – I had I do not think it's carrot top at all. That, that was the typical Ken guess. Yeah. Let me put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> and Paula guessed Joe Jonas. Again, I, I, don't, I think that Joe probably would have a little more rhythm than that. Yeah, I Definitely would because the professional dancer. He was on in Jonas Brothers, and they yeah. he's toured so much. So yeah, and, no then I, um, 
and then Brian guessed Zach Efron, which Ashley said, said that Zach is a much better dancer. Yeah. Actually, Ashley Tisdale would know she was in High School Musical with him. Yeah. yeah. I have to say, I thought it was Zach Efron at first, too. But I'm not... Now, you know, thinking back, I don't think so. But my first thought was Zach because of Baywatch. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. That's the only reason that I would think it would be Zach Efron. I'm leaning more towards maybe because fame happened almost so quickly. I'm leaning more towards um, like maybe a YouTube celebrity or. But like, what in the clue package makes you think it's a YouTube celebrity? Just because he said he said that um, he um, he became famous almost too quickly. I don't think it's, I think it's somebody that may, like, maybe got, what was the startup? Uh, Something like um, 90210 or something. It could be, like, someone who started out as a child star. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. I, I don't know why, but I got, like, I don't know why, but I, I know this sounds, like, too obvious, but I was seriously getting, like, I was getting athlete vibes at one point in the clue package, but I know it's athlete probably vibe? not an athlete, but I was getting athlete vibes at one point in the clue package. I mean, it could be. It could very well be an athlete, um, but it's still too... I, I'm going to need to see more clues from him. Yeah, definitely have to see more from that. Yeah, definitely. Because there are so many possibilities. It could be anybody. Yeah, it could be Bjork. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. I always think it's Bjork. Yeah. And up next, we had Tulip. Um, there was an old fashioned alarm clock with TikTok printed on it. Um, there was a number 11 on a cereal box. Um, she said she was teased growing up. There was um, in a yearbook, there was a bunch of stuff. There's a picture of a glee club. Um, it said her confidence tumbled. She clicked her heels like Dorothy in Wizard of Oz. There was a clue about scrambled eggs. Um, oh. She, she danced to Fergalicious by Fergie. Easily uh, the best of the night. I thought it was a really good performance. I think this is a professional dancer. I loved her. I have like four guesses for this one, but um, I thought she was one of the best of the night. Like, I like. I, I I believe she'll be in finals. Like I think she's gonna go far. Yeah, I might be a bit off on this one, but with the wizard of like the wizard of Oz of vibes and the Glee vibes, um, Glee and Michelle was an uh, animated Wizard of Oz um, movie. Called- yeah, I think I saw something about that. On and one. she's yeah. supposed to be in you know whenever they finally make Wicked. That's she's in the ring to be Esteban or what? Yeah. Or she, um, and she voiced Dorothy in some. There was a movie called Return to Oz or yeah, something so, like that, yeah. and she voiced yeah. Dorothy in that, and she yeah. sang in that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was. She was in that. That's what I, I. I was actually. Um, that was the movie I was talking about. I couldn't it's remember. Definitely somebody from Glee, though. I think. I think I it's would, Heather Morris. If it, it could I, be Heather if Morris it's too. Somebody from it's Glee. Good. I think it would probably be Heather Morris more than likely. But I mean, she was well, a professional dancer. She was on Glee, she was a backup. She was a backup dancer yeah. for Britney um, Spears. I think Beyonce or somebody. It in was the, pretty- in the word up clue was triple. And so Heather does fit in that category. She's uh, yeah, she is a triple dance. threat. She, she knows how to tap. She does tap. But one thing that is really sort of having my wheels turn is the plane ticket that says A L D C. Yeah, which I don't a lot know of people that. say Abby Lee Dance Company. It could be one oh. of the Ziegler sisters. Uh yeah, or it could be any of them, like uh, Maddie, Mackenzie, JoJo, Naya. Could be any of them. I never watched Dance Mom, so I don't know. I was but... forced to watch it because my mom and sister always watched it. So a lot of times, oh, yeah. it's forced. And you know, it could be a, it could be a star, um, a, one of the dancers from there. I don't know if it was like Maddie or something that maybe they uh, guest starred on Glee or something. It, I don't know. Charlie, um, who did Ashley guess? Charlie 
Do you, uh, Charlie Charlie Demillo, who's a yeah, that's that's actually a good guess. It is. If it, if it wasn't a fact, the fact that Tulip was a female, I would almost guess Chris Culver, only because yeah. of um, the Glee thing um, and he, one of his best known performances on Glee was Songs from Wicked with Leah Michelle. Yeah, but, that's true. Uh, but you know, it's obvious. You know, Tulip is a as a girl, but if yeah. it was a guy, I would say it was Chris. Right. But, and um, also, I am. If Baron said that Tulip is a triple threat. I don't see mm -hmm. Chris Colfer as a triple threat. Uh, I don't know. Probably I wouldn't thought... really be considered one by a lot of people, but. But it's hard. It's hard to say who Tulip is, but I think she's going to be around for a long time. So I, I also picked up on Millie Bobby Brown because there yeah. were two references to Stranger Things in the clue package. So maybe oh. it's somebody from Stranger Things. It could be. But this is somebody, though. I think that is like a really, really, really professional dancer, like yeah. one of the people from Dance Moms. But it, but it, it could be anybody. It could, uh, it could be one of the people that um, pe keep people guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, up next, we had Cricket, um, easily the worst dancer of the night. Absolutely. Um, he yeah. In his clue package, he said he always bets on himself. Um, a lot of Vegas clues um, talk about being unlucky in love. Um, a dollar amount was shown on the screen, 900 Nine hundred and two thousand one hundred dollars, um, an obvious nine hundred two one zero reference. Um, talked about um, being in a power couple now, ready to jump for his love. It was a terrible performance. Yeah, that was it. Was bad. <laughs> Essentially, it was just him jumping around on the stage, like no, what he was doing. Yeah, it was. And he said his word, um, the word he said was accomplished. And when he said it, it kind of sounded like he had an accent. Yes, it did. Of some type. I don't know if it was a put on or not. Um, Ryan, uh, or Ken guessed Ryan Reynolds, which I, he would never do the show because he's too big. And he doesn't have an accent. Yeah. Brian guessed Ian Zeering, which on paper isn't a bad guess. However, Ian was on Dancing with the Stars back in season four. Oh. He's a much better dancer than Cricket was. Yeah, uh, Cricket was pretty bad. If it were for if it were somebody from Nine Hundred Two One Zero, I would probably guess more. Maybe go maybe more with Jason Priestley or um, or somebody like that. Um, but, but, but I it's it definitely not Ian Zeering. But if it was someone from 90210, I would think Brian Austin Green would know who it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and Ashley said it was Ashton Kutcher, again, way too big of a celebrity. Somebody that did come into mind because of the 90210 clue, it's sort of a weird guess. I don't know where any of the other clues would fit in. But the name that popped into my mind was Rivers Cuomo, who is the lead singer of Weezer. Oh. And they had the song Beverly Hills. Um, and him saying accomplished, I do know that Weezer sort of took a break so Rivers could go to college. And he went to a pretty big college, I think. I'd have to look more into that. And that's why I thought that maybe it could be Rivers Cuomo but the Vegas clue, and then, of course, the accent, which could easily be um, put off, or could, could, could be a put on. Um, but I, I don't know who Cricket is. Yeah, now, probably somebody from 90210. I would think it would be someone from 90210, but the accent, like, really throws. I don't think so. I think it may be, like, um, if they're mass dancers, would be, like, mass singer. <laughs> Is that they'll probably have like somebody that was famous back in you know the Stone Age almost, or maybe, and, maybe it could be Judge Reinhold. Um, he was in oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but That's no, great. I mean like somebody that is. I have a feeling it's somebody that performs in Vegas, and um, that maybe he has his own you know show like 
type of thing. Maybe. But um, it's, it's hard to tell without the guesses, but yeah, he was bad. Yeah, he was I, really, really, really he bad. He was bad. I mean, I could dance better than him, and I can't dance for anything, so no. <laughs> I would need more clues to figure this one out, because I honestly have no idea on this one. But yeah, unfortunately, that... uh, Cricket was not unmasked last night. That honor, of course, went to our next performer, Disco Ball, who yeah. was also a bad dancer, but also wasn't as bad as Cricket. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually was surprised that Disco Ball was sent home over yeah. Cricket. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us were. And looking at the clue package, we saw he grew up uh, in a rough on a rough block lost his parents at a young age. There was a fin in a swimming pool, a gavel, somebody pouring some iced tea. Uh, I, can't, I can't believe the panel didn't get it because that, I mean, Ashley, yeah. Ashley Tisdale guessed MC Hammer, Brian Greff guessed LL Cool J, Ken guessed Smokey Robinson. They were extremely close to getting it. But it was rapper Ice T, which should be should have been obvious when you saw the picture of Ice T. <laughs> I know I felt so dumb after like seeing that in the clip package. I was like, but then I wouldn't have thought to have guessed that in the first place. And actually, yeah. I was reading online uh, a website that I look at while I was at work, and I saw the rough block clue. And the funny thing that actually came to mind was the 1989 Quincy Jones album, Black, Back on the Block, which uh, Ice-T actually won a Grammy for. <laughs> and then once I found out about all the other clues, I was like, yeah, this is Ice-T. Yeah, and the gavel, of course, you know, Law and Order. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, of course. Um, He's really famous on there. That's one of those guesses that how could you not figure it out? Right. But it, it it was sad to see him go. He seemed like he was having a lot of fun. I definitely, yeah, I think it definitely, definitely should have been cricket that should. Yeah, have. he definitely did have fun in there. I like I, I like him, so mm -hmm. I was surprised to see him go so early. And the final performance of the night was another good dancer. It was Exotic Bird. Uh, in her clue package, we saw um, a race track. A gun shoots off with glitter with a flag that says "Bang." Uh, she said she was a little competitor. She started out as a teenager. Uh, she won something. Um, she was holding a bottle of perfume. Said it wasn't easy after that. Said she was attacked a lot. She was cooking in the clue package. She said she was made fun of for being a big bird. I know exactly who this is. Oh, uh, you're going to be like, you're, you're, yeah. I, you're Ken. Yes, Ken, who is it? <laughs> No, they can't sure, who it is. I'm sure you all saw who I said it was in the chat, but I think it's Jordan Sparks. Um, I know a lot of people are thinking it's an athlete, um, but a lot of the clues in the clue package, and especially when Exotic Bird said that she won something, immediately a light bulb went off, and I said, this has to be somebody from American Idol or did some you sort of competition. Um, and a lot of the clues fit. Um, if you saw on the eggs, it says eggs, Best Buy 07. Uh, Jordan won American Idol back in 07. Oh, Jordan Sparks, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we saw, of course, uh, the two uh, women in black had the number 17. She mm -hmm. was 17 when she won Idol. She, had, um, she does have her own perfume line. She has her own cooking mm -hmm. show. Um, the narrator in the clue package actually said that... Um, how did how did uh, how did they put it? Said oh said that exotic bird was a warrior. Um, that could be a nod to the song Battlefield. I was thinking uh, that too. One of, yeah. one of her first big hits. Um, being on the racetrack could be um, the song One Step at a Time. Mm -hmm. um, the bang um, and the clue package could also be some sort of battlefield reference. Also. Uh, the glitter could be related to the movie Sparkle, which he was in with Whitney Houston. Yeah. Um, so I definitely think that this is Jordan Sparks. It could be Jordan. I definitely think it could be Jordan. I mean, I, I thought that Jordan me. Sparks was on The Mass Singer, so I, if she's on Max Dancer, I would be really excited. Yeah. 
I mean, after wanting to see her on the mass Singer after all this time, I mean, I'm not going to be mad if she's on here. Mm -hmm. If she's on here, I definitely want to see her on mass Singer, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. I mean, maybe she didn't do the mass Singer because everybody would have probably would have probably caught on pretty fast. Yeah, right. she does have a very distinctive voice. Yeah. And then also, yeah, when she but... spoke, her word was score. She's married to a basketball player, by the way. Um, oh, she, oh she... when she said score, it sounded a lot, lot, a lot like her speaking voice, too. So, and Paula was actually close. Paula said Jennifer Hudson, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Paula is, I think, going to be the Ken of, of the series. So, no what... one guesses who Exotic Bird is. Well, wait, it, she it, said. She said Jennifer Hudson, but Jennifer Hudson didn't win American Idol. Right, she came in seventh, but she did win an Oscar. Yeah, she won an Oscar, but they said that yeah. she well, won it's not Idol. Jennifer Hudson. She was close, but... <laughs> um, I mean, I the first thing I thought of was... I thought of... Well, no, I, I was thinking of an outfit at first, but... Yeah, um, I, think a, I think that's what they want to say. Jordan Sparks makes sense. Mm-hmm. All those clues make sense for Jordan Sparks. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like Venus or I, I was thinking of like one of the Williams sisters, Venus Wilson. or Serena. Or Williams, whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, and I was thinking that too, but then it just kept on going with the clues. It was more obvious that somebody that's on a singing competition, that was on yeah. some sort of competition, somebody that has competed somehow in something like that before, somebody that mm -hmm has been um, teased about their weight, somebody that um, has struggled with weight issues. Um, and they know she has. Yeah, I don't know if Venus and Serena have their own perfume line. I'd, I'd have to look into that, but. Not that I know of. Yeah. But it, it, of course, we'll need to see more clues. Um, and um, I, I really hate that we're gonna have to wait two weeks because next week we get to see Group B for the first time. First time, actually, uh, January 6th, we'll see Zebra, Sloth, Cotton Candy, Moth, Ice Cube. Uh, that's who we'll get to see um, next Wednesday. I can't wait to see who they are. I'm really excited about Cotton Candy because we got to see a video of them dancing, and they were really amazing. She was one of the, and she was, yeah, yeah. You got to see a video of them dancing. Is that somebody's stomach growling, or was that Barb's dog? That's my dog. <laughs> no, I'm excited for cotton candy, too. She hears, <laughs> she hears the people across from me. But, look, I have a feeling that Exotic Bird and Tulip are both going to go far, so yeah. don't at me. Yeah. But I think they're both going to go far. And I can't wait to see. I'm wondering almost just because of the way she's built that maybe Cotton Candy's Tanya Harding. And I wouldn't be disappointed at all if it were her. Yeah, you might be onto something with that one. Yeah. I would have to see. I guess we would have to see clues to mm -hmm. to actually see if it actually. Yeah. Is. Right. Yeah, I think I, I'm really looking forward to the rest of the season. I just hope that there are a lot more better dancers yeah. because. Yeah. I, I was well, happy with the clues. I like the personalities of all the uh, of all the costume celebrities. I like the judges panel. Dancing the first episode wasn't amazing because there were no. only two people that were actually standouts, and that was Exotic Bird and Tulip. So I hope going into next week we have a lot more better dancers. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I, um, for it being, to be a dancing competition, I really do want to see more good dancers too. But anyway, that is our show for tonight. Make sure you uh, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and keep tuning into the show. I'd like to remind everybody we will be back um, Sunday for another recap of the challenge, and then starting Monday, January 4th, and every Monday through Friday, we will have the Daily Tea, where we will discuss anything and everything going on in the news. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to that, um, and that starts, of course, next Monday. Um, once again, I like to um, remind everybody to have a safe, happy, and healthy new year, and we will see you in 2021. Mm -hmm.